Hello everybody and welcome to our latest episode of Nucleus Office Talks by Mastermind 2023 Decoding the Value of Experience. I'm your host Shivani Lorai. Today we will talk about the importance of connecting experiences for better returns and long-term growth. While organizations today have realized the value of customer experience and employee experience as important dimensions of growth, many tend to view experiences in silos. But these areas are fundamentally interdependent. Connecting experiences can lead to boost in returns as organizations get a bird's eye view of their business. Return on experience, a concept that emerged in 2019, has provided businesses with a new useful metric to measure how experiences motivate employees, connect and retain customers, as well as energize leaders. ROX combines experience data with operational data across five key elements. Pride, influencers, behaviors, value drivers and outcomes. Leadership experience is the driving force that acts as a catalyst to accelerate EX and CX. To share insights from his over three decades of experience in the mutual fund industry, we have with us here today Mr. Bala Subramaniam, Managing Director and CEO at Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund. Mr. Bala Subramaniam is a stalwart of the mutual fund industry and currently helms Aditya Birla Sun Life, India's leading asset manager with a rich legacy of wealth creation for its customers. His leadership has won him several awards and recognitions including CEO of the Year from Asia Asset Management in 2018 and 2020. He also steers thought leadership in the fields through his board memberships in key industry bodies. Let's go and meet him and learn more. Hi Bala. And welcome to our show. Thank you, Shivani. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me part of your show. Lovely. I'll start from the basic brass tacks, right? Uh, your industry was initially dominated by a physical interaction between the customer and the service provider, which is the person who's selling the mutual fund. And that over the years has transformed into a more digital uh, transaction. Um, when did this journey or shift in the in the journey from a physical interaction to uh, a digitization happen at Aditya Birla uh, Sun Life Mutual Funds and how has the journey been for you? It's been of course pretty good of course um, while we started this journey in the year 2016 I see. Okay. 20, uh, yeah, 15 or 16 we started the journey uh, in order to drive this uh, journey on the digital uh, we said, let us have one digital conference for two days and we are not experts in everything that we uh, that we are supposed to know in the digital space, but yeah. at least we can learn from the people who have been running it for many number of years. We had a two days uh, conference and learn from yeah. some of the banks, some of the other service providers and other uh, social uh, platforms like Google and Facebook. We had a two days seminar. And second, we are also quite impressed with the way the government of India ran this whole other based authentications. That also gave us actually greater um, lead in terms of uh, being part of the whole digital journey. And um, with that, we said now we need to have uh, we need to have a model which will make it completely customer friendly. Yes. Uh, bringing them on, on online. Yeah. We actually as the first app as a as a company, is called Active Account App, which is uh, we we felt the customers have got a struggle in terms of doing the transactions. Mm. At the same time, a lot of people have got free money lying in the savings account. How do you get the money actually into the mutual fund space, yeah. we said we, asked, we should have one app for that. Then having now discovered one app, we said we must have a customer app, we must have a partner app. So likewise, I think we kept on building the digital assets. In fact, today 98% of our transactions come through the digital platforms. Um, as it always happens in any industry, the more we do it and the more we see actually the world is progressing in a very advanced manner, we always feel that we are actually behind the 
curve by about two or three years. I still believe that the only way to push the digital, I must accept it that I am not ahead of the curve. I am still behind the curve by one mm. or two years. Mm. Therefore, build there is a culture. Mm. And last but not the least, while we have built the asset, but they need to be promoted. Yes. Need to be promoted. Need to be told. We need to be. Uh, we need to increase the customers to use the uh, uh, the application that is available for his benefit. Yes. Second promotion is another uh, key. Yeah. See, this is the way I think we have built the culture. This is the way we have created the product. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, it's still a long way to go. Yes. So that's a 360 degree approach uh, that you have adopted. So there is a, a physical presence uh, if someone needs to meet and interact. There is uh, a phone call away within uh, a short time is what I'm understanding. Uh, there is also a, a digital aspect just you know on click a, a young user or, yeah. or someone who is willing to adapt faster. And of course we have the CEO who is always available. That's just lovely. Thank you, Shivani. I think let us now go to our office okay. and continue our chat. Oh, lovely. I'd love to see your office. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, Bala, uh, of course, we've had a lovely conversation downstairs. But I wanted to, you've got a beautiful office and I wanted to ask you, uh, what are the key factors you keep in mind while choosing an office or a building uh, for your teams? See, first and foremost, um, how well positioned you are from the point of view, commuting from employees' point of view. Yeah. Second, people should feel like coming to the office. Hmm. Uh, the way the decorum is there, the way the office is set up, the way I think vibrancy is there. Yeah. The way even uh, the ventilation, yeah. which I think is a must in the office. Yeah. So those also matter actually from employees' point of view. Okay. And at the end of the day, the way the office is set up, uh, every employee should actually be feel like coming to the office, a lot of happiness. Therefore. Um, uh, the the work-life balance which I think every employee has to bring. Yes. That should also be provided in the form of office setup that you have. Wow. And last but not the least, we are also an investment management company, asset management company. Okay. One is from employee's point of view, you have to look at the convenience. Yes. Second, from customer point of view, when a customer walks in, are you in the center of the uh, city? Yes. Or when we meet the companies while well, making investments, yeah. whether those companies or management are able to come hmm. at any point of time, so, so that they don't they don't put any inconvenience yes, from yes. the point of reaching out and have a conversation Got with the team. It. Got so, the multiple things that is there. Ultimately, from an employee's point of view, the office environment has to be such that yes. the vibes has to be extremely yes. positive. Yes. I think the open light system itself, you yes. would have seen in our office. Yes, it's beautiful. All the, all the four sides yes. are open. I know. There's a natural light is filling yes. in. We didn't need extra lights. <laughs> we didn't need extra lights. And that actually makes yes. a lot of uh, uh, difference for the employee um, happiness point of view. Lovely. So, of course, the location and the way it's laid out, completely understand. Um, coming back to your uh, business, during the uh, uh, the entire customer journey, right from purchasing a policy to uh, interacting, uh, you know, with the with the contact person, the relationship manager, to even cashing out, there are multiple touch points uh, that a client has uh, with your team members. In over the years, there has been quite a transformation that has happened. What are the uh, key transformative experiential changes uh, that you've brought about uh, within your company just to ensure that the customer uh, is happy and sticks through? See, I think from a customer point of view, the kind of experience that you create. Mm -hmm. As the customer starts dealing with you, you come for different purposes. Yes. One of course purpose in asset management is the return that you yes, count. Yes. The experience that you are able to create on yes. the investment experience. Yes. That's only one portion of it. Yes. Second is the post sales, you need to do a servicing part. That's the part. So that's yeah. the second part, yes. which is also in my view is an equally high component yes. of the total yes. uh, the happiness co quotient. Yes. And the third component is actually is the, is the handholding during the tough time. Yes. So I think when things go through a volatile period, yes. how quickly you respond. In addition to that, I think you asked about earlier question, I yes. just recalled. Yes. So when coming to the office, I always believe coming to the office is like you're going to a temple. Yeah. <laughs> so this one office gives you actually the, you're right. the, the, the money that you need. Yes. So it makes you a survival. At the same time, it's yeah. a temple. Yeah. So it's like a worship place actually. Yeah. I think morning hours are between 8 to 8.30 or 8.39. We play a music. So um, really? every day morning we play a music. Wow. In the same way, the night, in the evening time, at 6.37 again we play a music. It is just to recall that I think as you walk in, you must feel happy that I'm listening to the music, yes. I'm going to the temple, therefore I must give my best effort for the company's yes. success yes. and the customer interest. Yes. Well, going in the evening, the, the bell rings actually at 6.30, therefore we can pack 
yeah. and go home wow. or listen to the music and then relax yourself. Wow. So that's the so what you look at for employees is equally applicable for customer delight also. Yes, I think the employee happiness is uh, absolutely critical. You know, uh, his experience really depends on his state of mind. Um, so you know the kind of building like you said, the offices, the kind of facilities you provide. I'm sure your HR is working really hard and uh, comes from the. Now that's a big focus. Yeah. I think it's come from. The group culture, which is a particular group culture. Right. Caring for the employees is one of the primary motto. Yeah. Developing a talent is another primary motto. Yeah. Giving growth for the people at continuous interval is again another motto. I think if we go by that principle of a particular group, the way the HR strategy has been yeah. built, I mean the group employs close to about two lakh people they employ. Yes. So right. caring for the people is something, is 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 the key uh, objective of the group. I think taking on from there. We had one of the subsidiary company of Hyderabad Group, Hyderabad Sun Life AMC, yes. part of Hyderabad Capital. I think same culture remains. So, Bala, we've had a beautiful look at your office. Uh, it's really wonderful, and uh, we've had a little walk. Why don't we just sit somewhere and have our nice little chat? Yeah, sure. Please come. Yeah. So Bala, I just wanted to ask you, uh, have you seen an upward trend in your uh, ROI after investing in experience or ROX as we term it uh, now, these days? Well, definitely yes, uh, given the fact that as you gain experience, uh, definitely it, it, it being reflected or measured on how you grow in the systems, how you contribute to the whole industry growth, the participant in the industry discussions and how you actually well, you are able to actually take the employees together and um, take them to the different level and then running for the business around the country and to build the business as well. Yeah. And finally upholding the the, the the brand value which comes from Aitula Group itself. Yeah. How we are able to upload the value of the brand in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the eyes of uh, public. Yeah. So all those things come on, on the basis of the experience. Yeah. This cannot be measured on the basis of money, yeah. this cannot be measured on the basis of how much increment you get and so on and so forth. I think the return on that experience, I think I would say is far, far higher than the return on investment that we have made. Uh, we have spoken about your employees, we have spoken about the business. Uh, I want to know what gets Bala out of bed every day and what keeps him motivated? Of course, um, there are many things. Yeah. One, uh, building a passion for the uh, business yeah. and second is um, uh, all of us are being uh, paid therefore we need to give our best for the success of the uh, business, success of the uh, team and, um, and create a happiness among uh, people. So that's something has been one of my uh, passion for the last almost seven number of years, almost 32 years in the, in the industry and that's one thing which has kept me going all the time that we have to give back to the, the business uh, as I always believe that pleasing the business is more important than placing the boss. I think if you bring that as a principle, yes. then naturally give actually the, the best possible output mm -hmm. that you can give for the uh, organizations. So beautifully said, uh, Bala. And uh, in our short uh, interaction with you, I've learned so much from you and I'm sure our audiences will, will learn so much from you. Uh, it's been an absolute delight to have you here with us and thank you so much for sparing your time. Uh, thank you, Shivani. Uh, again, Equally, uh, um, um, I'm happy to be part of the show yes. and uh, the conversation that we, uh, that we had and I hope it's useful for everybody. Thank yes, you. it will be, it will be, absolutely, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. We are undoubtedly living in the experience economy where experiences drive value for businesses. But the key learning here has been that experiences cannot be understood in silos because they are fundamentally interdependent. Connecting experiences is the way forward to realizing better returns and long-term growth. Thank you so much, Mr. Balasubramanian, for your insights. This has been Nucleus Office Talks by Mastermind 2023, Decoding the Value of Experience.